Hey, it's Aloysius. Yeah, it's done. A thousand subscribers and more. Thank you for that. You are awesome. Thanks for everyone who is watching my videos, commenting on them, giving me feedback and just enjoying it. Thank you for that. So a while ago, I promised you to answer some questions. I had some questions that you gave me, so it's final time to answer them. Of course, I wanted to wait until the sound is full. Now it is. And yep. One additional question some of you might have is what is going on with this channel, so few videos and yeah, I'm pretty busy in private life and I'm preparing two videos where I still have to collect some footage and figure out some things in my editing software. I hope it will be worth the wait for you. I will give my best. Thank you. So first question, will be LHR play competitive again, like in server smashes and lane smashes? Well, competitive is a relative term in this game. Um, we have a very small community and competitive means we're having a scrim, we're having a lane smash, server smash. And of course we take part in that and uh, we do it when we have the numbers, we can actually participate in that. So um, when we don't have the numbers, we don't do it. When we have, we work together with some other outfits and yeah, of course we take part, uh, like in this example here. We, we did uh, with three outfits, a lane smash against, I think it was a Miller team. And yeah, we enjoyed it. Uh, and of course, you could see us um, in the future in these events if we get together our people. It's Arots, uh, one of our leaders who does all this. He is a representative for uh, German smash and all kinds of other things when it comes to lane smash, server smash. So if you have questions about that, ask him. Then we come to question number two. Do you think Planet Side 2 will ever start growing in popularity again? I honestly don't know. I think what the dev team has to do is to invest in the game. The employers have to do, which is Daybreak Game Company or the investment company Columbus Nova. And if they don't invest in the game and the team, then I think it will die a slow death. But of course, uh, when it comes to co the community, Planet Side 2 has been dead for years now, and of course it's not, but um, the population numbers are down, and I really hope they will get their shit together and um, do something about the battle flow in this game, because I honestly think this is the greatest problem, and not some numbers on some weapons. I think uh, people standing around too much and uh, having nothing to do, having no fun, this is a problem, like here. Number three, my buddy Jack Hare wants to know how do I fly Liberator better? Oh God, I can't speed like him. Yeah, just give me angle, bitch. It's always the fucking same with you. Angle. Nice, nice slices. Nice. Triple kill. Good job, mate. Question number four is about harasser fight versus harassers compared to harasser fight versus other vehicles and the duration of these engagements. Yeah, first of all, the dev team has that combined arms initiative where they want to make engagement last longer, but I'm not a big fan of this because hide and seek with the harasser is what makes it fun. You run around with stealth, you choose your prey and you surprise the enemy vehicle. So. Um, if you surprise him, he doesn't get a shot at you. You can survive this and you have tons of fun. So just practice it. I have a tutorial. I can link it again. And to the second question, fighting a harasser is just a different kind of fight than fighting a tank. Yeah, the target is harder to hit, but it goes down faster. So just look what's going on around you and engage when you have the chance. Question number five, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. And the other question, what is the funniest bug I've ever found in game? I don't have footage of it, unfortunately. It was a while ago when the PPA was absurdly big. Uh, it was just uh, one PPA shell was like uh, a whole base. And um, I can link you another video where you can see some footage of it by the Dragonaut. Number six, why not trying to make BK and E great again? Blue Hornet is too mainstream. I don't know if we are mainstream, but from what I've heard, they are back. That means for the SNTR, BK and E is back in the menu, people. 
yeah, no further comments to that. Have fun. Question number seven. When is it a good time to take an ESF and to take a harasser? This guy feels like he's not being very efficient. Yeah, first of all, I would say the best time is when you have fun doing it and when you have enemies to shoot at, of course. Um, I wish more people would spawn an ESF instead of standing around somewhere with a lock on. You know my opinion about, about that. But I'd say um, be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, um, As I said in my harasser tutorial, you should know when to attack. You should know when the enemy is distracted so you won't go down that fast. And of course, you stealth, same with an ESF, practice. Because once you've figured it out, I think there's not many things as much fun as uh, flying and driving a harasser. Question number eight, why do I keep playing this game if it's ruining my liver? Well, I don't know, I've never played it drunk. Uh, I'm not really sure. I play it because it's fun. Is that it? Yep. Another guy likes to know what flavor of ice cream do I like and why. Why do I have the feeling that this is a trick question? Question number 10 is a huge question. What would make the game better? Yeah. If Columbus Nova would invest more money in the development team and they would play the game, get a sense of the battle flow and Based their decisions on that, that's what would make the game better. Another player likes to know why does he have problems killing high battle rank players and why does he die instantly so often? Yeah, it's simple because first of all, high battle rank players um, have usually more experience. They know when to switch on their shield, they know when to use a med kit, and of course, this game has client side hit detection, which means when something is happening on your screen, on the screen of the other person, there's happening something else that's maybe a second away or just a part of a second, but it's enough to have the feeling like you die instantly. So you should Google client side hit detection. It's way too much to explain right here. Number 12, is there a vehicle that I want in this game? Please tell the advantages and cons. I don't know, the dev team has one hell of a job balancing the current vehicles, but if there was a great dev team with more resources and all that stuff, I would like boats, of course. Water between the continent and a whole fucking lot of boats. Number 13. What do I think about the thermal nerve and did it affect the game in a positive or negative way? I'm not sure to be honest. I think nerfing the thermal is one way to yeah, to reduce vehicle spam a bit, but I don't think that's happening. What's happening is that vehicles don't see AV campers, lock-on campers and all, all that kind of stuff. I, I mean, it would be fair enough if there would also be a, a little better balancing about all the AV stuff, but that is not really happening. And I don't think it's happening in the future with a combined arms initiative. I think it's just another vehicle nerf and infantry buff. So the only thing we can do is wait how it will play out in the future. Number 14, of course he's trolling, Headmaster. One of our leaders is asking, can one join our outfit and uh, yeah, of course you can. You just need to be able to speak and understand German and you have to fit in our small community, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you all for the subscriptions again. And uh, yeah, I hope you will enjoy the little bonus to me. And forgive me for the stuttering footage. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Multi kill, mega kill, killing spree. Oh, I got hanged.